For me, when drawing mouths, the most important thing is that line, just that middle line. Focus on the opening and from there, everything else will fall into place. Everybody's mouth is different. There's so many different shapes, but if you can get the opening right, that's where you're gonna get the expressions. That's where you're gonna get the personality. So focus on that, practice that first. Then from there, you can add the upper and lower lip. That's when everything takes shape. Even on the profile, add the line where the mouth opens, then the upper lip and the lower lip. Remember that they're gonna be affected by light and shadow, with the upper lip almost always being darker than the lower lip. Giving the lower lip some bounce light from underneath also helps give it the illusion of volume. Now when it comes to teeth, I try not to draw the gums and every tooth in full detail. I know it's what you see in real life, but it can be very distracting. So I try to simplify it. Just give a hint of teeth, a subtle little bit of shading for the gums. Let people's mind do the rest. And remember, lips come in all shapes and sizes, so practice drawing every kind you can find. Full lips, thin lips, wide lips, narrow lips, pursed lips, chapped lips, pierced lips, and fuzzy lips. There's so many shapes, colors, and sizes, you have a lifetime of practice ahead of you.